like I-95 to 64 East, and we're in Virginia Beach. Brianna, do you really think your dad is gonna let you take a road trip to Hip Hopalooza? Of course he will, as soon as he sees how prepared I am. <laughs> oh, look! Girl, there's a West Virginia, too! <laughs> oh, here he comes. Watch me work. <laughs> oh, hey, Daddy! Oh, nice shirt. You look great. I think I should nominate you for one of Baltimore's 50 Most Beautiful. Just Baltimore? <laughs> oh, my bad. I mean, all of Maryland and West Virginia. <laughs> oh, mediocre compliments, Arnez avoiding eye contact, Spirit smiling like she doesn't know she has something in her teeth. <laughs> Girl, what you want? Okay, we want to drive down to Virginia Beach for the Hip Hop Palooza. It's the best hip hop concert of the year. They're still cleaning up the city from last year's. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be there, Mr. Washington. Angie Stone, Floor Tree, Avant. <laughs> And we're so prepared, we even joined that driving club. Ah. Well, what are you talking about? You know, A-A-A. -A -A. Ah. <laughs> Triple A is an acronym. No, 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 no. It's not just in Ohio, it's nationwide. You are too young and too challenged for a road trip. But Daddy, you used to drive down to Virginia Beach all the time. You make me look at all those stupid I mean, memorable photo albums. But I went with my family. My dad drove. He turned those road trips into magic. But Daddy, I need those magical memories too. Where are my pictures of me eating fried dough and riding the teacups wishing I hadn't eaten fried dough? You know what, Brianna? You're right. We should have those memories. Sing-alongs, naming farm animals, seeing how long you can go before you have to pee. <laughs> i tell you what. We're all going on a road trip. Hip Hop Palooza! Yay! <laughs> you do realize he's coming with us. I know, I'm trying to cover the tears. <laughs> Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Flex, every travel game I could find in my mama's basement. Uh, travel Boggle, Travel Scrabble, and Travel Twister. <laughs> That's my favorite. Right hand, booty. <laughs> Flex, you're only going to Virginia Beach. What do you need all these games for? Candy, I'm trying to create fond and loving memories that will last a lifetime. I said, hurry up, I will leave without you. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 Arnez. This bag looks over the limit. All right. Half an inch under my size requirements. Looks like someone just earned themselves a travel star! <laughs> travel stars? Wow, Daddy, that is so cool. Okay, you sitting in the front with him, right? Here we go now. All right, now I make copies of the schedule just like my dad used to do. I plan snack time, game time, and scheduled stops. Oh, you hear that? It's time to hit the road. Yeah, but it says right here, at 12 o'clock, depart. And at 12.01, regret. Cheetos! <laughs> Good one, Daddy. Still like my grit. Oh, what was that for? A red Volkswagen bug. Every time you see one, you punch. So like bug yellow. <laughs> Ooh, 1.30. It's time for the trivia game. Okay, who can tell me where the Emancipation Proclamation was signed? At the bottom. No, at the White House, silly. Look at you, just wasting all that freedom. Okay, okay, here's one. The dogwood is the official flower for what state? The state of boredom. <laughs> Daddy, we're tired of all your games. The Civil War game, slug bug, name that roadkill. <laughs> Nobody cares about that stuff. I do, sweetie. I'm trying to give you a family memory. You know, sometimes an experience like this isn't appreciated until you're older. You have to cherish these moments, baby girl. Yeah, well, so far, this has been the most boring 12 hours of my life. 
It's only been an hour and a half. <laughs> oh my God, you brought us into a time warp. <laughs> All right, now, you keep talking like that. I'm gonna drop you on the side of the road with no shoes. That'll be more fun than a bonus round of Cap the Cows. Yeah, that was whack. Slug Bug Green. Ow! I'm going to the back and listen to my CDs. It's dangerous up here. Yeah, fine. Listen to your music. Have your store-bought fun. I'll play by myself. Huh. One cow, two cow, three cow. Ooh, pigs! One pick, two pick, three pick. Oh, hey, baby. Your diabetic Dwayne needs his candy. This article says the five keys to a healthy relationship are one, listen to your partner. I hear you loud and clear, partner. <laughs> two, be honest with your partner. You are turning me on, honestly. <laughs> Be dependable. Baby, you can count on me to take off these shoes, and then I'll start counting on you. <laughs> Four, never lose the spontaneity. Always surprise your partner. Boo, girl. <laughs> and five, make sure you and your partner have a real emotional connection and not just physical. Enjoy each other's company without using sex as a crutch. But. Man, what does this magazine know anyways? I mean, it's only good for the free perfume samples. Ooh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Dwayne, baby, do you think we're using sex as a substitute for real intimacy? Oh, oh baby, of course not. I mean, we have a great relationship. Well, then let's do it. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Come here, give me some money. <laughs> no, let's go the rest of the weekend without having sex. What, both of us? Dwayne, I'm serious. Now, I love you, baby, and I know you love me, too. So let's just prove to each other that there's more to our relationship than just sex. Y yeah, baby, yeah. That's, that's a brilliant idea. Okay, baby. <laughs> so if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna go back there and uh, take off all my clothes and take a hot shower and get all pruney. <laughs> and ash it. <laughs> Just like you like it. I'm still not having sex with you. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> so, telling me I'm not fun. How do people who aren't even old enough to vote know what fun is? <laughs> Coming up, more on the rainstorm that's going to pound the East Coast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hey, slow down, Halle Berry. The posted speed limit is 65. <laughs> oh, well, come on, left foot. You want to pass, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep on, sleepy heads. Nice blur you got there. Does it have a gas pedal? No offense, but in this country, you drive on the right side of the road and obey the laws. Well, darling, you drive like my grand. <laughs> Hello, babe. Oh, that's a bloody bummer, isn't it? <laughs> that's what you get, you, you speeder. I see that your wit is as slow as your driving, sweetheart. My wit? This is my wit in your rear view mirror. How about that? What? Low gas? My, my schedule stop is until King's Dominion. King's Dominion? <laughs> Guess I gotta call Ah. <laughs> Man, shoot, no service. <sighs> oh, there's a gas station. Yeah, I can walk that. Uh, hey, Brianna, wake up. Hey, Brianna, I'm gonna go down the road and get some gas, and I'll be right back. Okay? Uh, yeah, whatever, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, can't you see I'm trying to play the sleeping game? <laughs> Fine. 
With that attitude, someone just lost their travel star. <laughs> Hey guys, you know, why am I moving? Hey guys, wake up, wake up. Rihanna, where's your dad? My dad? I don't know, where is he? You know, he did say he was gonna leave us on the side of the road. Oh my God, I think he did leave us in the middle of, where are we? Brianna, I didn't see your dad anywhere. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, he left us on the side of the road. Like an old mattress, like a roadkill, like the rest of NSYNC. <laughs> Don't panic, Brianna, just, just, just call him on your phone. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no service, oh lord, we stranded the highway hooligans, go get him. <laughs> Brianna, you forget, I'm with you. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Oh my god, it's the hooligans! <laughs> Feels real safe. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. That hooligan looks like Angie Stone. Hey, did you know you're Angie Stone? I love that song about the brothers. Thank you, baby. My accountant loves it too. <laughs> yeah, me too. You know, I'm a mixed brother. Half soul, half rock. Half a brain. Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? Look, your dad and I got into a race. Probably ran out of gas, and I'll bet he's up ahead at the gas station. Be happy to give the kids a lift. Wait, wait, wait. My daddy said never to get in the car with strangers. Look, I don't know about you, but I'm getting out the car. Yeah, <laughs> me too. my chest. <laughs> when I get to that gas station and see my daddy, I'm gonna have a few words for him. Can't believe he left me on the side of the road with Itty and Ut. Just wait until he sees me pulling up in a limo with Floetry and Angie Stone. Uh, 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 uh. That's Angie Stone and Floetry. You know, I'm a musician too. Oh, for real? What you play, though? Obviously something really heavy. Uh, mm. You should hear me play the French horn. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Actually, we're English love. Okay, here's the gas station. Come on, Arnaz, let's go get them. Can't believe my daddy got me coming all the way out there. So, do you like your English muffins light or dark? Because I go both ways. <laughs> no, that's cute. That's nice. Arnaz, come with me. <laughs> Now, we... ah! <laughs> Rihanna Arnaz, the other one! I lost the children! Oh, Lord, where are the children? He wasn't there. Uh, but I picked up a little something, ladies. Mm. Uh, trail mix? Oh, it's mine. I can't believe my daddy would do this to me. Sweetie. Any father down enough to bring his daughter and her friends to a concert with moi as a headliner <laughs> wouldn't abandon you. Why didn't we just play his games? Would a simple round of Slugbug have killed us? Yes. Slugbug. We love Slugbug. Slugbug Red. I, I don't even see a red Volkswagen. Oh, you have to see one? That's not how we play it in London. OK, you know what? Enough of the Slugbug. My daddy is out there somewhere. We have to find him. So maybe your father went the other way to go and get gas and is at the truck right now waiting on you. I mean, like you said, Brianna, he'll be really surprised if you pull up in the limo with Floetry and Angie Stone. I mean, I'm sorry, Angie Stone and Floetry. <laughs> gonna so, how's your mom? Oh, she's good. Oh. Yeah, she's, she's good. Oh. Thanks, thanks oh. for asking. <laughs> how's yours? Good, good. Real good. Yeah. Do okay. Hmm. <laughs> so have we proven we're friends yet? Oh, come on, Dwayne. 
Now, I know there's more to our relationship besides sex, and baby, I really want to explore that other side. All right, Dora the Explorer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna order a pizza. Get it with pepperoni, bell peppers. And, and extra, extra cheese. cheese. And maybe we should get an order of... Breadsticks? Bread <laughs> with the side of marinara sauce. Well, <laughs> and what's dinner without dessert? Chocolate, Chocolate peanut, peanut butter, butter ice cream. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby, we do have other stuff in common besides sex. We have food. Oh, ah. oh Dwayne, baby, what we have is real. Baby, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I don't need some magazine to tell me that we're perfect together. <laughs> Come on. Oh, mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Cherry lip gloss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I want my candy before dinner. Uh, Come here. Oh. <laughs> this is the spot. Where's the truck? Yo, man, somebody stole it. Man, they were quick in the sticks. This isn't funny, Arnez. My dad left me. That might be normal for you, but for me, it's my first time. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. He'll turn up, and this will all be a funny memory one day. If I ever see him again, that's all he ever wanted from me is fun memories. But then I became a road diva. <laughs> Honey, you ain't seen a road diva until you've been on tour with Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> or so I heard. Brianna! Spirit! I did! How was everything? A tall glass of chocolate milk. I just got here. Oh, here's your change. How was everything? A tall glass of chocolate milk? I said I just got here. Oh, my bad. I have short-term memory loss. I tried everything. Acupuncture, medication, hypnotherapy, acupuncture. <laughs> so what can I get you? Uh, what I need is a payphone. Oh, we got one right over there. Call whoever you want. I'll give you my phone number if I can remember it. <laughs> oh, snap. You're Avon. Yeah, what's, what's up, up man? What's I'm up? a big fan. <laughs> Read your mind. That's the cut, thanks. thanks man. Uh, you mind if I get an autograph after I make this phone call? Yeah, but, but I'm waiting on a phone call. I'll be quick. Now, I lost the signal on my cell phone. I need to call the police about my daughter. I, I hear you, dog, but I'm waiting on a phone call from my personal groomer. Uh, I I'm thinking, man, should I use Sporting Ways or, or Murray's? Uh, I say Sporting Ways. Yeah, yeah, sporting. Uh, hey, man, I said I'm waiting on a phone call, man. I'm having hair issues. Man, you're gonna have medical issues if you don't let me call my... <laughs> my son. What do you use? Man, leave me alone. <laughs> Hot chocolate. Haven't seen you in these parts before. But I did, I was. Oh, nice smile. All those teeth, you Man, what am I gonna do? I've lost my daughter. I've done that. But don't worry, they always come back. But you don't understand. All I was trying to do was give her some family memories, but instead I took her on the worst road trip ever. Because of my stubbornness, I'll never get to see her smile again, never get to hear her laugh, never, never hear her sweet voice. Daddy? There it is. Hey. Rihanna, oh, baby, I thought I lost you. I'm sorry. Oh, oh Daddy, please forgive me. I was such a brat earlier. From now on, I'll play any game you want me to. Slugbug Yellow. Ooh. It's the loving version. Daddy, I'm sorry. This was your road trip. I should have been more flexible. Don't worry about it, Daddy. The concert's been washed out. We heard it on the radio. The whole boardwalk is flooded. Oh, that's too bad. You girls will love me in my thong. <laughs> okay, kids, my bad. We went through all this trouble and you don't even get to go to the concert. Don't worry, Mr. Washington. We got to ride in the limo with Floyd Train and Angie Stone. Uh, Angie Stone and Floyd Train. <laughs> yep, and that's a once in a lifetime memory. Hey, I got an idea for another memory. You're the one that I want now, baby. I want you to give me your heart. Cause you mean everything to me. I wanna be where you are. Said I wanna be where you are. Said I wanna be where you are. So say we all go talk a liquor. We all go sing a liquor. But try and know the info. We'll always choose the second. In the part of the You're so lucky you have such a good day. You must be the apple of his eye. Yeah, he's all right.
What was that for? Giving me a memory. But there I go again, what I really meant to say Was give it to me cause I heard it was the phrase of hate Hey, welcome arts, can I get you anything? Uh, milkshakes for everybody. <laughs> she ain't gonna remember. Morning, brethren, sistren. <laughs> Guess who just happens to be my eighth cousin three times removed? The guy who played Leroy on Fame? <laughs> oh, but my bad, he's got at least two feet on you. <laughs> now, I was fooling around on this genealogy website, and I found out that the very blood running through my veins is the same as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's right. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? The information highway is gridlock? <laughs> means that I am descended from greatness, destined to be an activist. I am picking up the torch of civil liberties and lighting the way for my oppressed peoples. That's, that's y'all. <laughs> well, Dwayne, you gonna lift us up all from your mama's basement. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Frank's on. That old gas bag's the only thing standing between me and the lead sports anchor position. And one final thought. To all my fans who have been so supportive over the last 20 years, I bid you farewell. You see, the aliens spoke to me through my navel last night, and this reporter's been chosen to mate with their queen. So until the next millennium... I'm coming, Queen Tulipi. Poor guy. I hope he's all right. But, on the brighter side... I'm in there, I'm moving on up like George Jefferson, say what, say what? Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there Good morning, boss, and it is a good morning. <laughs> Undip me, you dip. <laughs> Just had to ship Frank off to the Sweet Dream Sanitarium, and trust me, it's not a very sweet place. Anyway, Frank is gone. I'm here. Give me the job. <laughs> Flex, it's not my choice. The station manager wants to see some other people as well. This is blatant racism. I'll have you know that I'm a close personal friend of a man who's distantly related to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. <laughs> Stacy, love. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. But then again, I figured, who else she gonna interview? <laughs> Flex, you know Red Galloway from Channel 14. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <What's> up, <man? laughs> the man who exposed the use of steroids in figure skating? Please. That wasn't news. That Romanian girl did a victory lap holding her coach over her head. <laughs> You know, Flex, envy green is such an ugly color on you. But then again, so is that shirt, bro. Ooh, if we're talking about clothes, shouldn't you return those shoes to the Bolarama? Uh, Red, wait for me in my office, please. And by the way, sending me flowers, pretty transparent. Lucky for you, I like my butt kissed. <laughs> Stacy, I have paid my dues at this station. I shouldn't have to kiss your butt for this job. Although I'd be happy to visit it on my own free time. <laughs> Look, Flex, the higher-ups want someone who will go the extra mile to get the story. You saying I have to audition? Yes. You and Red have a week to come back with a hot story. Best one gets the job. I should quit. <laughs> I should do a lot of other things, too. Good day. <laughs> You got the part of Catherine. That's Tori Spelling thing you did with your hair, girl. Amazing. Girl, no, you're the amazing when you did it all with real hair. <laughs> Attention! I've made my decisions for Shakespeare night. The selected scenes from The Taming of the Shrew. If you didn't get the part you wanted, get used to it. That's showbiz. <laughs> Wait, oh, I got it, I got it. I got the part of 
for Chukio. But aren't it as you were the only guy who tried out? Yeah, but that girl from the field hockey team was really good. Congratulations, Brianna. You got the part of Catherine. Oh, really? No, oh, I... It's cool. It, it, it's no big deal. The hell is not? I get to kiss you. Well, I'm your understudy. Which is almost worse than not getting a part. No, being an understudy is, is awesome. See, you get all the fun. Mm -hmm. Well, I get all the pressure. Who's the lucky one here? Thanks. Come here, girl. Uh, come here. I guess I'll see you guys later. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it may not be, and it cannot be. Let me entreat you. Wait, hold up. I mean, who talks like this? What does entreat you mean? Uh, I think it means we kiss. <laughs> uh-uh. Understudy? Oh, man. Y'all call that acting? Spirit, if you're gonna be my understudy, you have to kiss with a little more feeling. Yeah, so you're right. Come on, let's show her how we do it. Go away. <laughs> Rehearsal. Uh, Brianna, the only thing I want to see closed is your mouth. <laughs> well, maybe we should rehearse in my house. Yeah. Nah, you know what? I'm all Shakespeare out. Y'all go without me. Okay. Oh, and Arnaz, uh, can you try to say your lines without spitting on people? Thank you. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I'm just in a bad mood. They're making me audition for the lead sports anchor position. I shouldn't have to prove myself. I am more seasoned than a... A, a Jeffrey Dahmer dinner guest. Same here. I mean, what's wrong with the world? They don't know who we be. They ain't know. Black boys and black girl, I have been to the promised land. Ooh, was Tupac there? Did you know we have a Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in this very town? So does any town with more than 20 black people. But my cousin needs a more substantial tribute. That's why I give you the Harbor Tunnel. Makes sense. Harry Tubman had a railroad. Precisely. That's why I propose renaming said tunnel the Martin Luther King Jr. Tunnel of Enlightenment. <laughs> I must leave now so as to hasten my mission. I will see you at the mountains out. Good luck, bruh. We shall overcome, dog. We shall overcome. Ma'am, I don't care if he is gay. Those are not the kind of stories we do here at WYNX. Who's gay? And how soon can we get her on the air? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, this is a news station, not Gossip Hour at Aunt Clara's Press and Weave. Man, you can learn a lot of good stuff at a beauty salon. That's where I found out a certain New York shortstop has more illegitimate kids than Sean Kemp. You don't have any standards, do you? And you don't have any Emmys, do you? No, but I have been employee of the month. <laughs> Yeah, it's red. Look, uh, 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 I don't want to hear that crap. Look, just get me something juicy on one of your buddies. Or my next report is going to read, star college athlete exposed for illegally accepting money from alumni loses promise in NBA future. I know it's too long for a headline, Lou Grant. <laughs> just give me the information. Stacy. What if I told you that Red was using sleazy tactics to get a story? <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. Then I'd say the only job he's eligible for here is lead sports anchor. <laughs> okay. I'll get low down and dirty. <laughs> Hope this doesn't keep me out of heaven. <laughs> whispering about. I'm saving my voice. It's a trick us stars do. Me, Celine, Diana, will miss Ross to you. Look, what do you want? I've rewritten the play. It needed a little punching and updating. But you can't rewrite Shakespeare. You're not even in the 10th grade. Don't think of it as a rewrite. Think of it as a remix. 
I gave Big Willie Shea some flavor. Look, I don't think this is a good idea. Honey, your job is to understudy, not think. Now run along and pass those out. She's out of control. The girl has rewritten Shakespeare. Did she cut the kiss? Oh, oh, I'm still in there. Oh, thank God. Please take your marks for the beginning of rehearsal. Let's start with the wedding scene between Petruchio and Catherine. Um, Arnez and Brianna, are you ready? <laughs> Catherine, or should I say Special K? I'll buy you Versace and Prada new. So love me too, because this thug needs a shrew. I love you, boo. But I need a bands too. I know that I'm the finest in the nation. <laughs> but I can't deal with all this hateration. What was that? <laughs> I just made a few changes in the play. Just keeping it real. Well, well how about just keeping it Shakespeare? <laughs> you know, everything the man wrote wasn't gold. Was he a personal friend? <laughs> Is there anyone here who can explain Catherine's character and her motivation? The non-Tupac version. <laughs> Catherine's misunderstood. She's a strong woman, but everybody thinks she's just a bitter shrew. Actually, she's a sensitive soul who's always been second to her sister in her father's eyes. It's obvious you fully understand Catherine's character. Spirit, you take over the role of Catherine. Brianna will be your understudy. That's how I keep it real. <laughs> My understudy. <laughs> now, run along, Miss Ross. <laughs>
good thing you're here. Come here. Look. You need to talk to Spirit. She's so nervous, I think she's gonna lose her stomach. And I have to kiss her. I'm good, but I ain't that good. <laughs> All right, I guess that's my cue. Is my tail properly placed between my legs? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't do this kind of my way of bouncing. Spirit, you can do this. You know this part better than Dr. Gibson. She used to date Shakespeare. <laughs> I can't go out there with all those people looking at me. But you've done plays before. I was a munchkin in the Wiz and a tumbleweed in Oklahoma. <laughs> we have never been a lead. What? Wait a minute, when did I start speaking to you? Spirit, I've been watching you rehearse. You're a great actress. I know you're gonna go out there and be amazing. You really get this Shakespeare stuff. I'm scared. Don't. I'll be right here in the wings if you need me. Go ahead, girl. Break a leg. Come, sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you, if me you mean. Alas, good Kate, I will not burden thee for knowing thee to be but young and light. Too light for such a swain as you to catch, and yet as heavy as my weight should be. They're undefeated on the field, but Baltimore State's football team takes an academic beating, which, strangely enough, does not show up in any NCAA records. We'll see you guys on the sideline. If you can read the directions to the next game. <laughs> this is Red Galloway, reminding you that if Red Galloway isn't on your TV, then your TV probably ain't really on. And we're clear. Red, that was a fabulous audition. Well, Red Galloway does not disappoint. <laughs> Remember that when you're eating soup for one on Saturday night, baby. <laughs> so what happened to Flip? Well, if you mean flex, I guess he's a no-show. Maybe he just isn't hungry. Oh, no. Flex is hungry. <laughs> In fact, he's hungry for some red pie. <laughs> Got a little surprise for you. Red, you remember Ishmael Porter, don't you? You don't know who you're dealing with, kid. You don't want this to get ugly. Uh, looked in the mirror lately? Too late. <laughs> Three. Good evening, Baltimore. This is Flex Washington, and tonight I'm joined by B State's star point guard, Ishmael Porter. Ishmael, it's come to my attention that you've been involved in accepting money from B State's Booster Club. Yeah, I, I accepted money to help my family. But you realize NCAA rules prohibit student athletes from accepting money. I know that. And I was wrong. I got in over my head, and then someone started blackmailing me. Oh, really? <laughs> Would it be that man? <laughs> the man known as Red Galloway? He lied! <laughs> then who did I witness blackmailing Ishmael in a dark, dank alley? I wouldn't know, because I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, but I got a good friend and a man in the dumpster who could prove you wrong. <laughs> so tell me, Ishmael, what made you come forward? Well, you cornered me in that alley. After that, after that. <laughs> well, it was one thing accepting money. But when Red had me dropping dime on my friends, it, it wasn't cool. So what are you going to do now, Ishmael? Well, maybe DeVry might be starting a basketball team. <laughs> well, I, I wish you luck, Ishmael. <laughs> this is Flex Washington saying, keep your noses clean, Baltimore, or I have to wipe them. <laughs> like that? And we're clear. Yo, you cannot do this to me. Man, I'm Red Galloway. I'm the one that... You are leaving. Flex beat you, Red. Better luck next time. You heard the lady. Get to stepping, and we're not validating your parking either. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll tell you what. You may not like what I do, but you'll never beat me to a story. Or oh, in bowling either. Why are you in those shoes again? <laughs> hey, Ishmael, look, if you need me to say anything to the disciplinary committee, just let me know, man. Hey, thanks, Flex. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders and I can start over. By the way, for $50, I can tell you all about the athletic director. Uh, bro, uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Force a habit. Lex, congratulations. You are the new lead sports anchor. And we're gonna run this story on Live at Five. 
<laughs> oh, well, I'm very pleased, and thanks for the opportunity, but uh, I have to get back to you with my answer. You are kidding, right? Oh, you know it, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the man, I'm the man, the sports anchor. <laughs> Mr. Untouchable, you can't push me around any more. <laughs> yes, but I'm still your boss. <laughs> I can work with that. <laughs>
It's a queen. Your place looks like a winter wonderland. Ah, well, origato, gracias, thank you, and show your right. <laughs> when are the kids getting here? Uh, they'll be here later. They had Kwanzaa brunch at Spirits. Ooh, ooh, well, I hope they don't eat too much because I prepared a fabulous bread from 10 countries and one principality. <laughs> Monaco. <laughs> okay, Natalie. Uh, that's probably Nicole, so get some tissue ready. <laughs> Hi. 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 Move. <laughs> Here it comes. Nicole! Merry Christmas! So you must be Natalie. Nice to meet you, you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, do you see that pain? She's so brave to come here, especially with that skunk jacket. <laughs> Nicole, we're all here for you. You're not alone this Christmas. No. No, I'm not alone. Excuse me. Everybody meet Jaden. Merry Christmas. <laughs> They're so Afrocentric. I mean, I've never sung the Negro National Anthem as a Christmas carol. I know, last year, we reenacted scenes from Roots. But this time, we got away. OK, well, I sure hope Josh likes his present. Oh, well, what'd you get him? A Kobe Bryant basketball jersey. OK, well, what'd you get Arnez? A vintage Nerf ping pong set. Oh, my god, and Arnez is stupid enough to love that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put a bow on this one. Do you have any more ribbon? Um, yeah, look in the closet next to the DVD player my daddy's giving me for Christmas. Merry Christmas, Brianna. Oh, Josh, you should have. <laughs> I love presents. Here, here's yours. Oh. Open. Can't wait to see what you got me. Oh, cool. <laughs> we can match. Uh, and... You know. Oh, you think you slick standing under the mistletoe. <laughs> Girl, that DVD player was nice. Uh, you, I, I'll go try it on. Spirit, it's, it's all right. I got to go to my dad's house anyway, so. Bye, Josh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Brianna. You get a kiss on Christmas? Maybe I should just staple some mistletoe to my forehead. <laughs> Look at her. It's just sad, sad, sad. <laughs> she looks very happy, Flex. And Jaden seems like a really nice guy. Uh, Natalie, you're an artist, OK? You see things with a pretty eye. <laughs> this is the trained eye of an investigative journalist. I see past the facade of what it really is, a cry for help. <laughs> Saki, hmm. you know I'm a little myth with Nicole. You're upset about her bringing Jaden too. Yes. I have just enough Vietnamese spring rolls for six. <laughs> oh, we're out of Japan now. Ah, uh, yes. See, Vietnam ends our Southeast Asia tour. I'm not sure they celebrate Christmas in Vietnam or anywhere in Southeast Asia. In my world, everybody celebrates Christmas. <laughs> so, Jaden, where'd you come from, huh? New York, Boston, Sing Sing? <laughs> Actually, I just got in from Botswana. I was on safari. Oh, so what, you gonna stuff Nicole and put her head over your fireplace? <laughs> that depends upon which fireplace you're talking about. The chalet in the Alps, the villa in Italy, or the brownstone in Harlem. I like to keep it real. <laughs> Jaden is a wildlife photographer. I met him six months ago while tracking killer whale migrations in Nova Scotia. Oh, so, so he was following your parents around. <laughs> I can't expect you to understand. Jaden and I, we share a love of nature. We appreciate the delicate balance, which is beast, man, and the world around. Yes, Flex, so you haven't lived until you've had the privilege of witnessing the mating rituals of the Tasmanian wolf. It's so primal. <laughs> is he fabulous? Fabulous? He's gay. Everyone, I hope your mouth has shock absorbers because your taste buds are gonna jump for joy. <laughs> Dwayne, why are we having dessert now? Well, actually, in many parts of the world, ice cream is used to cleanse the palate before the main course. Is your name Dwayne? <laughs> Baby? Is everything OK? 
okay? No, no, it's not okay. Nicole is ruining Christmas by bringing along Louisiana Jones. <laughs> but Flex, you have someone in your life. In fact, you always have someone in your life. <laughs> I mean, you're never without a date, you're never without a girlfriend, you're never without someone. <laughs> Unlike some of us who have to invite their friends over and wear funny costumes to have company at Christmas because your mama would rather be tobogganing with her butcher. <laughs> Time for Italy to marry Scotland. <laughs> Natalie, don't listen to Dwayne, okay? That was the old me, and it's different with Nicole. That's Brianna's mother. That's a different bond, mother-daughter. You know, Brianna, when she sees this, she's gonna freak out. Jaden? Oh, Mom, what a surprise! Oh, this is gonna be the best Christmas ever! <laughs> Look at this, this freak show! <laughs> It's so sad. <laughs> no, man, she seems happy to see an old friend of her mama's. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> I used to feel that way whenever my mama's old friend, Mr. Arthur, used to come over to visit. <laughs> he would bring me a little toy or something. <laughs> then he would go upstairs in my mama's room and, and they'd bake cookies. <laughs> you can't bake cookies in a bedroom. Yes, you can. <laughs> Chocolate chip. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. I have to go make a costume change. Oh, what, what's this? It's Egyptian sand taken from the Great Pyramid of Giza. Oh. I figure it'll hold you until we go on holiday next summer. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. I get to see a mummy with, with my mommy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's not taking my daughter anywhere. He better watch himself before they have to excavate my foot from his sphinx. <laughs> Wait, can you believe this? Honestly, no. And if I wasn't so secure in my fabulousness, I'd say you were jealous, Flex. Me? Jealous? I... See... Oh, See... Ah. <laughs> Nicole, you know in this light, your eyes look like the stars twinkling over the Serengeti. <laughs> See, baby? That's how a gentleman woos a lady. <laughs> now she's dragging Brianna to her sick fantasy. <laughs> Excuse me, Natalie. Brianna, a word. Oh, uh, okay, sure, Daddy. Why didn't you tell me about Jaden? Because Mommy told me not to. Why? Because she was afraid you'd overreact. Daddy, this is the first time you've ever met someone she's dating. She thought she would take it hard since you've never really gotten over her. <laughs> me? <laughs> never, never gotten over her? Yeah. I see. Ooh, see. Ah. Daddy, 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 give Jaden a chance. He's really a nice guy. Ooh, he let me drive his Porsche. Ask him, daddy, he'll give you a ride, too. <laughs> Dwayne, everything was delicious. Really? <laughs> You liked it? I mean, even the chili from South America? Or, or was it a South American stew from Chile? Either way, it's from a country where the toilets swirl the other way. <laughs> so, Jane, would you, uh, like seconds? Uh, apparently, that's your thing. Actually, Flex, Nicole knows what my thing is. Don't you, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take Jane across the hall and bring back the Greek pastries I made for dessert? Greek? Ay, chica, no. <laughs> you were supposed to get a Mexican treat to go with my piñata. <laughs> Did I say Greek pastries? I meant Mexican pastries. But I don't want to go with Jane. Why? It'll give you two a chance to talk. You should get to know him. But I don't want to get to know him. Fine. Jaden, <laughs> will you go with Flex across the hall and get the dessert, please? Well, actually, I thought I came with dessert. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, I'll go. Give us a chance to get to know each other. Yeah, right. Let's go, Tarzan. <laughs> I mean, listen, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. I can only imagine how awkward this is for you. Awkward? <laughs> Why has it got to be awkward? It's not awkward. <laughs> So, um, you know, Brianna's a great kid. You and Nicole have done a nice job. 
You uh, think you can do better? Hmm? Any pygmies or tall bushmen running around look like you? <laughs> no, 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 you know, just me and my camera and Nicole. Now, how'd you ever let her get away? She is so sweet and kind and nurturing. Mm. How long did you say you guys been going out? <laughs> A year? I thought you said you guys met six months ago. Oh, that was just for Flex's benefit. You know how he gets when he feels threatened. He starts to overcompensate, and he gets real competitive. Call that a scar, little man. <laughs> Check this out right here. Uh-huh. Pick up game with Shaq and 97. What do you know about that? OK. Don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> See that? Crocodile bite. Snuck up on me in three years ago in Australia. But you should see the teeth marks I left on him. Oh. <laughs> oh, so, so you saying a crocodile can sneak up behind you and you take him down? Can and have. <laughs> OK, well, uh, just imagine that I, I'm a crocodile. So, Natalie, how uh, serious are you guys anyway? Mm, we're moving along nicely. Hmm. We're taking it nice and slow. I mean, but I still think there's a part of Flex that's still connected to you. <laughs> well, of course, we're connected. We have a child together. Mm, it's more than that. Really? <laughs> Even though he's moved on, I feel like he still hasn't let go. And I mean, until everyone lets go, there's gonna be drama. Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! I have that problem with my relationship. You know, I feel a sense of closure now that I'm with Flex. You mean Jaden? Jaden. Jaden, that's what I said. <laughs> Who's ready for pastries? Oh, Arnest, thank you so much for pulling me out of that dinner. Christmas with my parents and their dates and my strange godfather eating stranger food is enough to make you forget about Christmas altogether. Then I guess I can keep my gift. Uh-uh, I ain't say all that. <laughs> but here, I'll go first. Oh my God, Brianna, this is so cool. Oh my God, Brianna, this is the best. Oh, thank you so oh, much. You're welcome. Uh, wait, no, this is wrong. I'm, I'm with Josh. Yeah, I'm with um, Ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when we used to stand on my parents' stoop and watch the snow come down? Yeah. <laughs> Lots changed since then. Yeah, you're not kidding. The snow's brown before it even hits the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how we used to sit out there and plan our future? How many kids we'd have? Our own house with the white picket fence and a dog named Brian. <laughs> no, it was a wrought iron fence and a dog named Killer. What kind of stupid dog name is Brian? <laughs> I like Natalie Flex. I think she's good for you. You two are cute together. Well, I don't like Jaden. He's too, too... Not you? No. <laughs> okay, maybe. Actually, it's a, a little more complicated than that, Nicole. You know, seeing you guys together with Brianna, you look like a family. And I wasn't in the picture. Nobody wants to feel like they're being replaced. I knew it. You still jonesing for the flex, man. <laughs> no. I'm serious, Flex. I realize that we can go on and have wonderful relationships with other people. I'll always be Brianna's mother, and you will always be her father. No matter how fractured we are, we're still a family. But this Jaden guy, does he make you happy? 
Yes. I guess he does. Well, uh, I'm happy for you. Really? Yes, and that ex-husband who can't stand you but still cares about you kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Flex. Merry Christmas, Nicole. Hang all the mistletoe. I'm gonna get to know you better. Yeah. This Christmas, and as we trim the tree, how much fun it's gonna be together. This Christmas Is everything okay? Yep. I'm all yours. I already knew that. I was just asking if everything was okay. This Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me. Fireside blazing bright. We're caroling through the night. Bus! 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 And now we bring it back to America with that traditional favorite, baked Alaska. <laughs> Spaghetti night? That's right. I just want to make my baby happy. Oh, that's sweet, Flex. <laughs> Makes me feel a little uncomfortable, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's father-daughter night, not father-dummy night. <laughs> what you want anyway? For it to be father-dummy night. <laughs> Actually, man, I just came by to say that making me take on Arnez as a roommate was a, it was a good idea. I like being a mentor to the young boy. Oh, cool. Where's Arnez now? He's changing the oil in my car. <laughs> oh, actually, that's later. Right now, he's uh, oh, he's leveling the lifts in my shoes. <laughs> Haven't you noticed I've been walking in circles lately? Man, well, circle your butt back on over there and finish watching him, man. I don't want him kissing my daughter again. I don't want him touching her. I don't even want him looking at her again. This isn't the calm, enlightened Zen daddy you told Brianna you were going to be. Yeah, well, that was Zen. This is now. <laughs> Before I saw her tongue wrestling Arnez on the roof, now I got no choice. See, I got to be cool daddy to her face and sneaky daddy behind her back. That's it. A double agent, double daddy. Thank <laughs> you, Flex. Every day is a new daddy. It's like living with my mama all over again. Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. dating? Yes. Ever since I got back from New York, my dad and I agreed to be honest with each other, and this is the first step. Yeah, and you're here because I feel safer with as many witnesses as possible. <laughs> no, I'm here because movies cost money and this drama is free, okay? <laughs> hey, Brianna, I sent you out for chips and you brought home the dips. <laughs> Daddy, Arnez and I have something to say. It's on you, boo. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm good, y'all go. <clears throat> well, Mr. Washington? Well, that would be a good place to hide a body. <laughs> Brianna and I feel very strongly about being open. Gosh, she looks so good right now. She better be worth all this. <laughs> oh, really? A really, really deep well. <laughs> Yes, sir. We want to make sure that you are all right with us dating. Dating who? <laughs> uh, 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 dating whom would be the correct usage. What a dork. What a dork. What a dork. <laughs> it's hard being the smartest one in the room. <laughs> Daddy, Arnez and I want to make sure you're okay with us dating each other. 
Why wouldn't I be okay with you two dating? Because you're an overprotective... Ill-tempered lunatic. <laughs> Maybe the old Flex was an overprotective, ill-tempered lunatic. But the new Flex has... Gus balls! Yeah! <laughs> the new Flex is cool. Yeah, I'm cool with y'all dating. I appreciate you being open with me. <laughs> if only this was his face! <laughs> okay, well, that was good. Bye. Be a man. Don't run till you get to the hallway. <laughs> oh, thanks, Daddy. I think this whole being open and honest thing is really gonna work out. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go across the hall to be with my man. <laughs> Did you lick your fingers and stick them back in the bag? <laughs> well, I didn't want to just stick them back in dirty. <laughs> Dwayne, did you see that underhanded move? I mean, what teenagers are honest with their parents? They think I'm gonna ease up on them. Fools. They're gonna regret the day that they were ever honest with me. Ain't that right, Dwayne? Nobody knows. <laughs> hey, don't you see? I mean, they're just like her mother and me. Two teenagers driven by lust. I and mean, we spent our prime night in the maternity ward. The pediatrician signed my yearbook. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen to them. Well, it's your own fault for having such a hot daughter. What'd you say? <laughs> Is he reading my thoughts? <laughs> Hey, man, you seen Brianna and Arnez? No. Weren't you following them in your car? Yeah, I was, until I accidentally hit a bike messenger. Was he hurt? No, nah, but he sure took his time getting up. <laughs> anyway, man, I lost him. They could be anywhere doing anything. Her mother and I, we did everything, and we did it everywhere. All right, Flex, you need what I got. What, hands like a hobbit? <laughs> no, I'm talking about a locator chip. I put one in Candy's car. Right now, I am watching her every move as we speak. Yeah. That is so sneaky, so underhanded, so deceitful. Can I get one? I don't know, Flex. I mean, I only have a few left over from Big Sal's, and I already got a couple guys who are gonna pay me good money for them. Come on, Dwayne. This is Flex, your childhood friend, your best friend. And if you don't hook me up with one, the last friend to see you alive. All right, you, you talk me into it. <laughs> uh, and since you're my boy, I'm gonna hook you up with a good price. My man. Yeah. $1,200. What? $1,200? I thought you said you were gonna give me a good price. Man, that is a good price. For me. <laughs> and remember, I am unemployed and housing your daughter's future baby's daddy. Man, I give you 20 bucks. Sold. <laughs> Can I have it now? Dwayne, I live across the hall. It won't take you that long. Hey, look. <laughs> Fine. All right, look. Here's $10 and, and a chiclet. Oh. <laughs> now show me how this thing works. All right. After I install it, which is an additional $1,180. Fine. We'll talk money later. <laughs> oh, look, look, check it out. See, with this GPS software, you can track her anywhere in the country. For instance, right now, Candy's signal is slowing down and stopping at 5771 Ryan Street. Huh. What losers are you going to see now? <laughs> Wayne, mm -hmm. that's this building. Oh, my God! I'm the loser! No, you gotta go now. Come on, you gotta go. Hey, what about my locator chip, man? You gotta install it for man, me. Man, no time. I gotta get gussied up. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> come on, man. Like, come, come, come on, on man. <laughs> what? Candy? Is... Did you gussy up? <laughs> Baby, I stay gussy. <laughs> oh, what a pleasant surprise. Come on in. Well, I'm here because I got your letter. All ten of them. Huh. I wonder what happened to the rest. <laughs> you forgive me? No. A lie is still a lie, no matter what the reason. I can't be with a man I don't trust, unless he's really, really good looking. <laughs> Baby, I was just so worried that you wouldn't want to be with me if I didn't have a job. I couldn't provide for you like a man. First of all, I can provide for myself. And second, where do you get off thinking I was with you because you had a paycheck? Like I'm some kind of gold digger. Baby, I never said that you were a gold digger. Hmm. Although, that's what I heard. What? <laughs> then why would I have been dating you? Well, no one said you were good at it. <laughs> Baby, please take me back. Oh, the whining, the crying, the begging. I mean, I admit, I do miss our foreplay. The way you used to make that buzzing sound like a bumblebee. <laughs> hmm, but I gotta move. Oh, well, Candy, please. Baby, look, I promise, I will never lie again. Dwayne, how do I know you mean it? But look, I promise. 
If I ever do get another job, I will tell you the minute I get fired. Well, it'll mean us starting all over again. Ah, uh, whatever, my sweetness. Right. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Isn't this great? Yeah, well, I have been practicing on my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm so glad we told your dad. I mean, I just feel so free. It's great not having to sneak around and look over our shoulders anymore. Well, my dad trusts me now. He finally realizes that I'm not a little girl anymore. Yeah, I realized that a long time ago. <laughs> what kind of an idiot pulls into the drive-in with his high beams on? Hey, let the light shine on our love. We don't need to hide from anyone. Come on, let's give him a show. <laughs> Recognize your car? <laughs> what a quinky thing. <laughs> Daddy, what are you doing here? We're on a date. You know, I I'm on a date too. Another quinky thing. <laughs> Yo, this is so bananas. <laughs> I'm here with my girl Java. Come on, who brings a date to see Finding Nemo Part 2? <laughs> Except for you and me. Who wouldn't want to see a movie about a father who'd navigate treacherous waters and battle those great half-white sharks to save his only child? Uh, excuse me, my job is percolating. Take your time. How did he know we were here? I don't know, but I think you better get your hand off my thigh. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Can you believe I ran into my daughter at a drive-in? I mean, what are the chances of that? I would think very unlikely since we were going to dinner at Cafe Pierre. Come on, baby. Look. Look, I know it's just a drive-in, but you make me feel so young. Don't you want to act like we were 18 again and hop in the back seat? Aw, Flex, I can't be mad at you. You're fun and you're on TV. <laughs> Flat top. <laughs> No, no, it, it, it's flat out, but it, that's, that's okay, baby. It, it's going to back. Wasn't this backseat thing a good idea, Java? I'm glad I thought of it. Oh, I'm so sorry about the clutter back there. I didn't know my dad and I were going on a double date. <sighs> Ever. Me either. And that's what I get for dating a B-list celebrity. Oh, please. Like, somebody's going to believe you America's next top model. <laughs> Look, Daddy, don't you want to take Java back to your car so you two can have a date like normal people? What's not normal about this? I mean, it's just a father and a daughter out on a date with other people in a car. I mean, we're just going with the flow. Who knows where the rest of the night might take us? I can tell you where it's not taking us, and I am a top model. Oh. Arnez, are you hungry? No, I ate earlier. Ow. I mean, I, I can eat. All right, we're gonna go get some snacks. You two want something? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to get no snacks. I got you. I got you. I stopped at the 99 cent store. Yeah. <laughs> I picked up some licorice. Well, well, it says licorice, but it tastes the same for half the price. What's that beeping noise? With any luck, a truck is backing over us. <laughs> no, I hear it too. Beep, beep, beep. No, that's me. Yeah, I'm working on this new thing for the show. You know, I can't live off flat app forever. Beep, beep. Doot, doot. <laughs> well, I gotta work out the kinks. Anyway, turn up the sound. The movie's getting ready to start. Oh, what'd you say, Java? You can't see over Arnez's head, and, and you want to switch seats with him. Oh, no, Arnez wouldn't have a problem with that. <laughs> Arnett, come on, sit back here with me. <laughs> oh, hello, Flex. Hey, I'm making breakfast for candy, and I need to borrow a few things. What do you need to borrow? Breakfast. <laughs> Take what you want, man. I owe you. You know, this tracking device works like a charm. Of course, Brianna's mad at me for crashing her date, and uh, I'm sure I'll be living with you when I'm old and sick, but... uh. <laughs> My baby girl's not pregnant. I feel proud. <laughs> I don't know why you're so worried about her, man. I mean, you raised your daughter better than that. 
And I'm sure she has a good excuse for why she's at the Green Door Motel. <laughs> oh, my God. The Green Door Motel? Dwayne, Nicole and I used to go there. That's where Brianna was conceived. And now she's going to take our nest there? Don't you see, man? It's the circle of life. <laughs> I got to find my baby before she makes a baby. Okay, well, uh, good luck with that. Oh, no, 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 man, you gotta come with me. I need somebody to hold our ass while I beat him down. <laughs> well, here's Brianna's car. It gotta be in one of these rooms. Matt, Flex, Matt, this isn't right. We're acting like the Vice Squad. Dwayne, as God is my witness, Brianna's not gonna make the same mistake I did. Now get to Vice and listen at one of these doors and see if you hear him. <laughs> nothing, nothing. 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 Just the sound of a bit squeaking and somebody getting spanked. <laughs> Get your freak on! I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him, Dwayne. I'm gonna kill him dead. Get, kick this door down. Man, she's not my daughter. Hey, your shoe's untied. Man. <laughs> hey, you dislocated my shoulder. It mustn't always be about you. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of here right now. Right now. Get up, Brianna. Next. Lilani? worse than I thought. You should be ashamed of yourself. Is Spirit in there, too? My daughter? Well, if she were, what would be the point of me and Cooper being here? Cooper's in there? Of course he is. Although for the next hour, he's the last samurai, and I'm his little geisha girl. <laughs> well, the tea's getting cold, so sayonara. Now, what kind of sick wasabi madness is going on around here? Now, that's Brianna's car. Tell her to get out here right now. You think Brianna's here? What kind of world do you live in, man? <laughs> She was nice enough to lend her car to us because she knew our van had been in the shop all week. Well, all year. <laughs> Once again, you cannot seem to keep track of your own daughter. Uh, oh, well. Just going back in the hidden dragon. <laughs> Gladly. Koopa, you can turn the camera back on, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Suki, Suki, you too. I got to go. <laughs> Yeah, my mom said your father's face was, like, crazed. Yeah, serves him right for putting that locator in my car and trying to spy on me. Ooh, I can't wait until I bust him out. <laughs> wait, so your parents go to that motel every week? Yeah, where else are they gonna watch HBO? Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, that's him. Look busy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? This all I know? My mama made me go to circus camp one summer. <laughs> oh, finally, you found something to do that goes with your clothes. <laughs> now, go on home, sweetie. Hey. Hey, baby. Have a seat, Daddy, oh. so we can spend a little father-daughter quality time together. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Good. I love father daughter quality time. Yes, yeah, so do I. You know, it gives us a chance to share our days. Yes. You go first. Okay. So, um, you want to share with me how you ran into Spirit's mom today? <laughs> What's the matter, Daddy? Mm. Are you choking on your lines? <laughs> that beeping we heard at the drive in was from that locator chip you put in my car. <laughs> Next time you want to violate my civil rights, I suggest you use new batteries. <laughs> that thing takes batteries? That beeping Dwayne. <laughs> hey, you set me up. How could you do that? How could I? How could you be so sneaky, so deceitful, so wrong? I'm a parent. It's my civil right. <laughs> hey, you were the one trying to throw me off by being honest. We're dating. We just wanted to be honest with you. Do me a favor. Don't ever be honest with me again. Oh, I know I just say that. <laughs> Daddy, why can't you just trust me? I mean, I'm not a little girl anymore. I'm almost 18 years old. Ah, yes, 18. The evil age. <laughs> the age of deceit. It's when the dumb gene kicks in. <laughs> I know, that's how I ended up with you. Oh, yeah, that's real nice. <laughs> I didn't mean it the way it sounded. Sweetie, I love you. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. But, but it was really hard for me. And I don't want that for you. I don't want you to end up doing something that you're not ready for. 
Daddy, that's all I've been hearing from you and Mom since I got into high school. I get it. I'm not gonna end up like you two. Can't you just trust the girl that you raised? Just please give me a chance to be me. Could you be you without Inez? Daddy. <laughs> all right, I just had to give it a shot, throw it out there. <laughs> all right, I promise. No more spying. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if that means I should take the wiretap off her phone. <laughs> so much fun, Dwayne. And to think, the only reason why I came by the other day was to tell you to stop sending me those annoying letters. And I put a lot of time into writing those letters. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you know how hard it is to find words that rhyme with please, knees, squeeze, uh, stop. disease? Baby, stop. <laughs> I read the letters. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I'm looking forward to our fresh start. Uh, as am I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and every relationship begins with a little mystery. Oh. <laughs> little surprise. Oh. <laughs> 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 I put a locating device in your car because I was jealous and wanted to keep tabs on you. Surprise! <laughs> You've been following me? No, but keeping an eye on you for safety reasons. Oh, and when you go to the drugstore, don't park at Blockbuster, they always tell. You disturbed little man. You just don't get it, do you? I'll never trust you again. Goodbye, Dwayne. What? C candy? No, candy! Baby! Candy! Man, I can't believe I lost her again. Dear Candy, I'm down on my knees. Come back to me, please, or else I'll sneeze. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's coming back. <laughs> I'd like to take this walk with you and see your face my whole life through. <laughs> Oh my God, is he getting worse? It's like he's taking unvoiced lessons. So, what are you and Dim Shady doing for New Year's? Well, it's our first together as a couple, so I want it to be special. Ooh, and Teen Vogue says it's Trey Chic to throw couples parties. And Teen Vogue also said a new haircut would get me a date. Come on, Spirit, you'll have fun. Somebody has to count down as the couples prepare to kiss. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll do couples and singles. Maybe Zonra can perform. Charlie and I can sing the song that I'm working on. Oh, that's nice, sweetie. <laughs> Remember the good old days when Charlie was just a boy's name and not an annoying French girl? <laughs> oh, bleh, 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 oh, nahs. <laughs> Sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. So, Flex, who are you ringing in the New Year with? I gotta tell you, D, I'm thinking of spending New Year's Eve alone. There's nobody I want to be with. Ah, Flex is tired. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, don't look now. I, I said don't look, but that lying, two-faced, manipulative little man is sitting right behind us. Ooh, and Dwayne's here, too. <laughs> you know, you might be too hard on the guy. He seems very sweet. Uh, I thought that once. Before he put a tracking device in my car, hinted I was a gold digger and stalked me. No. Yes, girl, I had to change my pen number five times because of him. <laughs> hey, since when did Candy and Danielle start hanging out? Well, Candy does her nails every Saturday. Then they come over here for coffee after stopping at the ATM. You want Candy's new pen number? <laughs> oh, so there's no coincidence that we're here. Man, man I miss my candy. I mean, she hasn't spoken to me in months. What do you mean, man? I've heard her say such popular phrases as get the heck away from me and shut up, shorty, and midget, please. <laughs> uh, how I miss Candy's terms of endearment. <laughs> That's why I'm going to ask her out for New Year's Eve. 
Maybe you should ask out Danielle. Man, I told you I'm rolling solo for New Year's, man. Besides, she has a rule about dating her patients, even the really good looking ones. <laughs> well, look, Flex, do me a favor. Go over there and ask Candy if she has New Year's Eve plans. Our oh, man, this isn't the fifth grade. Come on, Flex. If you don't, I'll go over there and tell Danielle that you like her, like her. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I got it. I'll go. But only because I'm taller. Taller people are more convincing. <laughs> Ah, hello, lady. Oh. Ah, what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Cook up a date for New Year's Eve. You know, you can always call for takeout because uh, I do deliver. <laughs> Somebody hold him down. Look, this is a fundraiser for orphans. Now, the women cook a dish and the men bid on it. The highest bidder gets the dish and a date for New Year's Eve with the woman who made it. <laughs> Sounds like an escort service with food. <laughs> you know, if you're not doing anything, you should come by. Well, I would, but I already have plans. I mean, what loser doesn't have plans on New Year's Eve? Oh. Hello? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Candy, you are a sight for lonely, tear-stained eyes. Mm -mm. Midget, please. <laughs> Danielle, let's go. Uh, I guess we're leaving. Uh, Twain, if you want to talk, call me. That midget thing, had to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Cook up a date for New Year's Eve? Psst, man, some people are so desperate. <laughs> hey, girls, what are you doing? Oh, we're making a banner for the New Year's Eve party we're having here. Which I haven't asked him about yet. <laughs> hey, Daddy. <laughs> Look, I know you want me to be safe on New Year's Eve, and, and what's safer than the house you provide for me? And should I have asked you first? Sure, but Spirit blew it. <laughs> All right, you can have your little house party, but uh, the usual rules do apply. No drinking, no drugs, and no baby making. <laughs> but with one addendum. Get spirit kissed at midnight. Oh, it's getting sad. <laughs> hey, French girl, boy, hippie dude. I heard about your little party you're having. I got cameras everywhere. See y'all. Hey, baby. Oh. <laughs> All right. Good news. Charlie got the band its first paying gig down at that new coffee house, being there. And there might be some record levels there. The bad news is the gig's on New Year's Eve, so you'll miss your party. But wait. If you're not here, you and I can't kiss at midnight. So you kiss later. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't know what they do in your country, but here, the person you kiss at midnight is the person you're gonna spend your year with. Uh, <laughs> sweetie? <laughs> don't be silly. I didn't kiss Spirit last year, yet everywhere I go, there she is. Yeah, you sure have a lot of rules, Bridget. <laughs> That's not how you love. Love is free. <laughs> yeah. Well, my man pays for his love. <laughs> well, wait, that didn't come out right. Look, how about we take care of this right now and we all just start kissing? I am not that desperate. Yet. Uh, <laughs> excuse us. Why should I have to change my plans because Charlie booked a gig? Brianna, this is a paying gig. And even though my dad's paying my rental graduation, Butter and I have bills to pay. You think it's cheap living in this apartment? Come on, guys, let's go. Speaking of going, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> Dwayne, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going through Candy's trash, duh. <laughs> I'm looking for clues as to what dish she's making. You brought Candy's trash all the way over here, but you couldn't take it into your own apartment. Man, do you have any idea how bad this stuff smells? Look, smell my hand. Come on, man. Ooh. Yam scrap. <laughs> that combined with the marshmallows and the brown sugar and this discarded how to make yams video. <laughs> I think she's making candied yams. I, mean, I gotta tell you, Dwayne. <laughs> You have stooped to an all-time low on this one. You gotta be pretty desperate to dig through somebody's trash, man. Flex, I don't have any apples. 
uh, uh, that's okay. It's, it's more of a, a stomach, throat, foot thing. <laughs> oh, man, she's got nothing but Neiman Marcus catalogs in here. No wonder she rents. Ooh, a recipe for ambrosia salad. Flat down? Uh, here's some antacid. Why is my trash can on my coffee table? I was wondering the same thing. Girl, you're gonna have to learn to keep house. You'll never get a man. <laughs> ah! What are you doing here? I'm supporting local orphans. I, I thought you said you didn't need a date for New Year's. Oh, why well, just have a date when you can have a date and a dish? <laughs> oh, I wonder who it will be. <laughs> And the highest bidder on the candied yams is Dueno Del Nux. What? Going like a player. Which means that his New Year's Eve date will be Danielle Price. What? <laughs> oh, no, 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 man. She, she made the ambrosia salad. Are you calling me a liar? I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> But since you asked, the ambrosia salad has the distinction of being the highest bid upon plate tonight, uh -oh. which is at $2,000 by Flex Washington. <laughs> which means that his New Year's Eve date will be Candace Taylor. Hey, Candace Taylor? Who the hell is Candace Taylor? <laughs> That's me, fool. <laughs> I mean, I paid $2,000 for candy? What? No! No, 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 this isn't right. There's been a huge mistake. You made the yams. Listen, don't tell me what I made, Keebler. <laughs> now, Danielle baked the yams at my house, and I used her ambrosia salad recipe. Well, how am I supposed to know that by going through your garbage? <laughs> you went through my garbage? Say who garbage, say what? What? <laughs> what kind of man digs through trash? What? Yeah, what kind of man? Ladies, ladies, look, we're here for one reason only, and that's to keep the orphans from catching fire. <laughs> we should do this. Uh, but, uh, like, Dwayne, it's for the children. But Candy and I will go out, and we're going to have a great time, and you and Danielle should try to do the same. Well, Flex, just so you know, I do want to go somewhere expensive. Someplace that has those fancy onion loaves. <laughs> you know, I'm looking forward to this, Dwayne. I think we'll have fun. Yeah. Yeah, be ready by eight. I found the boy I'm gonna be exchanging saliva with at midnight. Who, the boy who brought his own Funyuns? Yeah, it must be nice anticipating your New Year's Eve kiss with someone special. Well, I mean, I haven't spoken to him yet. I know, Spirit. That was my way of focusing the conversation on me. Arnez and I should be together on New Year's Eve, and why aren't we because of Charlie? Brianna, what's going on with you? I don't know. Being in love makes you feel so vulnerable. You end up doing crazy things. You'll find out someday. <laughs> but I'm about to go down there and get my man. Brianna, you're gonna leave your own party? A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Hey! <whistles> Listen up! We gotta step out for a minute. Don't take or break anything. My daddy has cameras everywhere. Oh, and, 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 and find your boys a narc. <laughs> and my new boyfriend. Uh, uh, so you like mm. the best onion loaves in town? Uh, yes, this is nice. You know, I admit, I never got the whole flex thing. <laughs> but I see now how you make an impression on a lady. Mm -hmm. A bottle of your most expensive champagne. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I found this place on the internet. <laughs> Flex, it... Dwayne? Oh, what a co winky dink! <laughs> oh, uh... You've got to be kidding me. Mm -mm. We see right through you and the pink one. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but I'm leaving. Wait, 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 wait. What are you gonna do? Go home and sit around in your brand new dress and eat Hagenaz because you're hot for your client who lives in your building? <laughs> oh! 
So you are filling flex. Building who class say what? Uh, uh, listen, uh, the maitre d' said that he only has one table left, so uh, we're gonna have to sit together. Well, I'm not sitting next to the hobbit. <laughs> you think you're pretty smooth, don't you? No, <laughs> not at all. Rose for the lady. <laughs> I'm not your date. Oh, I know. <laughs> Dwayne, pay for that right there. <laughs> Danielle, um, a, a toast to the best date I've ever had. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 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 Uh, Flex, uh, why don't you have some of my crab cakes? Uh, I don't want any crab. Oh. Mm. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Little food, Danielle. <laughs> oh, Danielle, don't you look so fine with that sauce dripping down your lip? Come on, Flex, we're dancing. I'm guessing you're leading. Dwayne, don't you think this is getting out of hand? You need to stop playing games. I mean, you even dragged me and Flex into this farce. No, I didn't drag Flex into this. This was his idea. He wanted to be with you. He went to all this trouble just to be with me? I, I mean, I thought he was doing it for you. Oh, quick, they're looking. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Yes, wait, look at him now playing patty cake with her. He loves that game. And you know he loves you too, Candy. But then why does he lie, spy on me, and dig through my trash? Flex, what kind of person does that? Dwayne does that. People do foolish things when they're in love. And we both, we both know there's no bigger fool than Dwayne. <laughs> yeah, but he drives me crazy. I know. See, but... Last week, Dwayne spent the whole day in a tub getting pruny just to see what he looked like when he got old. But you know, as the day went by where he wasn't in my refrigerator stealing my food or practicing his Emmanuel Lewis impersonation, you know, I wouldn't know what to do. <sighs> Candy, guys like Dwayne, they, they need lots of second chances. Yeah, I do miss him. Come on, just one kiss. This is ridiculous. Let's go. It's now or never, okay? You tell her you love her, and if she rejects you, you move on. May I cut in? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, oh. please do. <clears throat> Candy, baby, I, I love you. I'm out. I worship the ground those big feet walk on. <laughs> now, I know I've been a fool in the past, and I'll probably be a fool in the future, but, but I'll always be your fool. Baby, give us another chance. Oh, baby, you had me at big feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, how much longer are we going to keep doing this? Oh, yes. um, well, that depends. You're gonna keep stepping on my feet? <laughs> <laughs> but not this dance. I'm talking about the dance we've been doing for the past couple of months. Oh. Well, I hope you're wearing comfortable shoes because this dance could take a long time. And trust me, I'm with it. Oh, you gotta go there with it. Oh, all right. See me, and seeing as you had seen me, I saw that I had to come see you. See? Why did you kiss her back? I didn't. Well, you didn't stop her. Uh, Brianna, she's French. She'll kiss anything. <laughs> Besides, what was I supposed to do? Hit her with my guitar? That's what I would have done. 
Why, why are you being so jealous? Because I see you up there doing your thing, women throwing themselves at you. I mean, that's how it is when you're a rock star. Rock God. Well, what am I supposed to do? Trust me. Look, Brianna, what we have is special. And nobody can break us up but us. And I don't want that to happen. But I don't want you to keep acting like you'd rather be up there doing your rock star thing than be with me. Brianna, it's midnight. Bands across town playing a game game. Where am I? Happy New Year. I see the place is still in one piece. But what's that smell? No way. <laughs> Funnions. <laughs> so, did you have a nice night? Oh, everything's been perfect so far, except for one thing. What time is it? Uh, 1.59. Oh, well, it's almost midnight in Denver, which means it's not too late. For what? For me to give my favorite girl a kiss. Happy New Year's, baby. Happy New Year's, Denver. Uh... Funny boy, come back! My favorite bride, Sally Bride. <laughs> Daddy, Natalie's not gonna look at wedding magazines. What you need is a grand gesture, like a room full of roses, ooh, or a four million dollar ring. <laughs> Sweetie, with all due respect, and by that I mean mind your business, Natalie's a 30-year-old, never been married woman. I Man, I could take her to Denny's and this whole thing would blow over. Now that's just cheap, Daddy. Trying to buy her love with eggs over my hammy. Now me, I take her on a vacation. A romantic getaway is a perfect way to say, I'm frequently wrong, get used to it. Please, I don't need to take her on a vacation to win her love. Nothing would make my woman happier than planning our wedding. I'm not planning a wedding with a married man. Are you crazy? <laughs> Check out page 30, the taffeta's tight, yo. Yeah? <laughs> uh, but you haven't heard the best part. Uh, I'm also gonna take you on a vacation. A vacation? Yes, uh, a, a romantic island getaway. Uh, Sunset Island, a tropical island paradise where Cupid doesn't shoot you with a bow, he shanks you in the heart. Will he be shanking us from a penthouse suite with an ocean view? You can't put a price on shanking. Wait, where have I heard this whole island idea before? Mm, oh, yeah, at the mall. <laughs> Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. got the courage to meet my father this weekend. So, what day is best for you? I'm thinking Sunday, because he should meet his son on that day. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, man. I promised Natalie I'd take her on a romantic getaway. Please. I mean, when is she gonna get over this me still being married thing? Fiancés, what you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna run out to the corner and bring her back a salad. Would you mind entertaining her while I'm gone? I'm still doing damage control. Oh, you can't do me a favor, but I'm supposed to entertain your girlfriend the minute you ask me for one? I bring you back some Melba toast. Oh, <laughs> sounds like you just earned yourself some jazz hands. <laughs> oh, hey, Nat. So I hear the wedding is back on. Ah, uh, it was never off. I just had to make him dance. Girl, Girl things? things? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm happy for you. I think you're gonna make a great wife to Flex and a great stepmom to Little Miss Sass. <laughs> wow, stepmom. Yeah, you were gonna be there for all the teenage wonder years. <laughs> the name calling, the door slamming, the visits from social services. <laughs> oh, God, you're lucky. I never thought about 
that. I mean, I've thought about that, but I never thought about that. Now you've got me thinking about that. Man, I hate my life. I just saw Arnez walking down the street with another girl. And she was cuter than me. Man, I wonder what time it is in South Africa. My mommy knows how to talk to no man, Brianna. Oh, sweetie, you can talk to me. No, you don't want any part of this. You're lucky you're going away this weekend. I'm just going to sit here, eat some Oreos, and listen to Mary J. Blige. The queen of hip-hop pain. <laughs> no, you shouldn't be by yourself. Come with me and your dad to Sunset Island. You should be around family. No, it's OK. I've got my heartache to keep me company. And then spirit will be the cherry on my Sunday of sorrow. <laughs> well, spirit can come, too. Dwayne, you don't think Flex would mind, right? Uh, yeah, what's a romantic getaway without two teenage girls? Oh, thank you, Natalie! Hi, <laughs> yeah, Daddy. Hey, baby. Here we go, a Greek salad for my Greek guys. Oh, perfect timing, I'm starved. Oh, by the way, I asked Brianna to come with us this weekend. Oh, was that Melba Toast? Oh, mine, mine, mine! <laughs> uh, what was that madness about Brianna coming with us? I'm sorry, she just seems so depressed. If you want, I could go tell her she can't come. That is, if you want me to look like an evil stepmom. Natalie, she's a teenager. You can't go back on your word. It just gives them an excuse to run off and have sex. Thank you, sweetie. Speaking of sex, <laughs> Brianna coming along with us means we have to be very creative. So uh, when I say I'm going to get some ice, I'm not really going to get some ice. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Okay, so now when I say I'm going to get some ice, I'm, I'm probably really going to get some ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yo. Oh, look at this room. It feels like my love life. Drab, faded, and full of funk. Man, this, this doesn't look anything like the room in the brochure. Look, see? See the room in the brochure? Ain't no crust on the curtains. <laughs> I want the room in the brochure. Oh, yeah, you'd have to go to the Hilton for that. Yeah, we use their brochures. <laughs> hey, you're all checked in, and everywhere else in town's all sold out, you know, big college weekend. <laughs> college boys are not for this gal. <laughs> oh, enjoy your stay. <laughs> oh, I'll be sure to leave a mint on your pillow, shouty. <laughs> hey, you stay away from her pillow, shouty. <laughs> I know you don't want no tip. You better get This place isn't so bad. Oh. Hey, at least the door covers the floor stains. I ain't complaining. Free is free. Let's all uh, look on the bright side. Hey, do we have a choice? Natalie, a little lesson in parenting. I'm trying to show the girls that adversity builds character, and we can all grow from this. Just like the mushrooms growing in the carpet. <laughs> Okay, Spirit, well, let's go see what's growing down by the pool. <laughs> now, sweetie, I know you're kind of vulnerable right now. So when you guys leave, I want you to look at the ground. Don't make any direct eye contact with these island boys. Uh, uh, uh. Eyes down. <laughs> what's up with that? Lex, after everything Brianna's been through, she's very delicate. I just don't want to see our little girl get hurt again. Ah, oh, listen to you talking like a little stepmommy. <laughs> I know. It's freaking me out. Oh, baby, don't worry. You're going to be great. I know you. And besides, you'll be learning from the master. Lesson one, when the kids are gone, we get it on. <laughs> you know what? I don't think those girls have any sunscreen. <laughs> Lesson two. What's on pay-per-view? <laughs> oh, love, honey. You want me to be there with you when you meet your father? I'd be honored. Oh, see? <laughs> That's why I asked you first, my leggy lover. Oh. <laughs> see, I've been thinking. It's important to make a good first impression. I want him to see that I've grown up to become a, a well-adjusted, successful, honest man. Oh, I understand, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I need you to lie and pretend to be my wife. <laughs> what? Candy, please. I mean, the last time the man saw me, I was crawling across the floor and drooling. I want him to see how far I've come. Baby, come here. You got a little drool right there. <laughs> oh, sweet Moses, I'm regressing. <laughs> Candy, please help me. 
All right? I don't want to be some weak, pathetic, desperate loser. <laughs> For the love of God, Candy. <laughs> Name my wife, woman. <laughs> Listen, I have had a lot of proposals to Wayne, but this is the first time my feet have gotten wet. <laughs> Fine. I'll pretend to be your wife. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my sweet concubine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. What do you want, Dwayne? Oh, and we have a son, too. <laughs> Looks like the University of uh, 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 is on vacation. Yeah, they're cute, but with Josh and Inez, I had cute and adorable. Forget about those high school boys. Here come two frat brothers from Gamma Phi Gorgeous. Ah, you girls having a good time? We are now. Cool, cool. My name is Denver, and this is my buddy Lance. Well, I'm Spirit, and this is my friend... Beyonce! Beyonce! Beyonce? I like it. Yeah, me too. Hey, tonight we're gonna be hanging at the hot tub if you want to stop by. Should be pretty cool. Well, if it's gonna be cool, shouldn't we call it the cool tub? <laughs> we'll see you there. What was that? Girl, I'm sorry, I'm still a little rusty. No worries, we just got dates with two hot guys. We should wear bikinis to school. <laughs> hey guys, I got some more brochures from the Hilton. If you stare at it long enough, it's like you're there. Here you go, sweetie. This will keep the sun away. <laughs> yeah, but what will I do when the farmer comes to harvest me? <laughs> Brianna Barnes, you put that hat on right now. Uh, Nat, no offense, but the only thing scarier than that fat guy with the water wings <laughs> is that hat. <laughs> uh, girls, why don't you go get some sodas? I need to talk to your father. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Lex, I don't appreciate you undermining my authority in front of the girls. Baby, no one's undermining you. I'm just saying, you need to lighten up. I know you're trying to do your stepmom thing, but remember, she's 16. And 16-year-olds, they don't wear fruit hats. Well, maybe not in Baltimore, but in Spanish Harlem, we rock the fruit hats, Poppy. <laughs> Look, Brianna's nursing a broken heart, and I'm just trying to be there for her. Look, I know you mean well, but you can't protect her from everything. She's bound to get sunburned and heartbroken. Right now, being a good stepmom means giving her room so she can move past her heartbreak. You think you're pretty good at this, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm even better by the ice machine. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, are these stilettos really necessary? Oh, they're necessary, but not for my daddy. For this daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I were actually your son, that would be inappropriate. <laughs> but since I'm not, why don't we ditch the little guy and get a cup of coffee. <laughs> you can't handle all this, Arnez. Uh-uh, his name's not Arnez, remember. But I hate the name you gave me. Don't sass me, Kiki. Come on, boy. <laughs> all right, girl, let's hurry up and get out of here before my dad and mommy weirdest get back. I mean, Natalie's a great teacher, but as a stepmom, she needs to take a refresher course and back off 101. <laughs> yeah, I mean, outside of McKinley, she's McCrazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girls. Hi, Natalie. Bye, Natalie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Natalie, it's nighttime. We don't need sunscreen or moonscreen. <laughs> yeah, and we've already eaten, so we don't need any hats. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. We have friends waiting for us by the pool. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of late. <sighs> but you know what? You're 16. Go have fun. Whoop it up. I've got to give you room to get past your heartbreak. Oh, thank you, Natalie. And you know what? You're not just a great stepmom. You're step... Pendis. <laughs> Bye, girls. Oh, Flex is gonna be so proud with how I'm handling Brianna. You did what? You let her go to a pool at night with friends? Don't you know that's Brianna E's for I'm getting in the hot tub with college boys? I didn't know. I was just trying to help her move past her heartbreak. Yeah, you helped her right into a boiling hot cauldron of sex soup. <laughs> I should go get her. Oh, I don't think so. You really stepped into something this time, step mommy. <laughs> oh, hey, I brought the shampoo you guys requested. Oh, that's great. That'll come in handy when they turn the water back on, Potsy. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. No, no, put out your hand. I can't have the whole bottle. 
Oh no, sorry, uh, the people in room 206 will be back soon. I think they'd miss it. <laughs> well, this is it. Sweetie, I don't think he's gonna know you're here unless you go up there. I don't think I can. <laughs> yes, you can, Dad. Remember when you, Mom, and I were lost in that blizzard and you trekked 30 miles through snow to find help? Well, Mother and I spooned for warmth. <laughs> you beat that frostbite, Dad, and you can beat this. Do it for us. You're a good boy, Kiki. <laughs> now stop groping your mama. <laughs> Hey, Beyonce, what's the craziest thing you've ever done in a hot tub? Ooh, uh, the craziest? Um, so many hot tub memories. Uh, this year? Um, I'm so... Oh, ooh, that's up there. <laughs> so, so wet. What's the craziest thing you... Ah, uh, just kidding. A busy. Brianna, if you don't get your butt out of those bubbles, I'm coming in. But Natalie said we could come down here. Oh, is that the hot older chick with the nice apple? <laughs> That's my fiance. You talking about your, your broke Maxwell? <laughs> you like apples, then why are you going after our peaches? Oh, oh my God, it's going to make me sweat. <laughs> oh, my God. Daddy? Oh, this place is kind of creepy. Maybe it's the wrong address. I have a picture of some odd looking little girl on this box. Oh my God, that's me. <laughs> she had long curly locks as a child. Oh, sweetie, you were so cute. So my dad did live here. I mean, I don't get it. Is he running from me? I think it's pretty obvious. He's running from the little boy with that perm. <laughs> Sweetie, didn't that private investigator tell you that your dad's CIA? I mean, maybe he's always on the run. Candy, this address is all I had. And I've been living for this moment. Get a move on it, you jacuzzi floozies. <laughs> I'm spirit. She was just trying to help me out of my funk. I don't care, heartbroken or not, sneaking and jumping into a hot tub with college boys is wrong. And you know it, don't you? Don't you? Yes, Daddy. You two go on the balcony and think about what you did. Uh, Daddy, we don't have a balcony. <laughs> Grab one of the brochures from the Hilton and stand in the alley. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really messed things up. I don't know if I have what it takes to do this like you do. Sweetie, I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Anyway, you can't compare yourself to me. I mean, come on, man. I've been doing this for over two years. <laughs> it's all just so complicated. First I try being tough on her, then you tell me to go easy on her. I'm more confused than a black Republican. <laughs> That's okay, sweetie. Because when we have a baby of our own, you're going to be a super mom. Uh, baby of our own? Yeah. Flex Junior. <laughs> if it's a girl, Flex Annetta. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Yeah, Flex is a bit of a stretch. We can work on that. <laughs> Flex, I don't want to have kids. Honey, you had one bad weekend. No need to take yourself out the game. <laughs> no, I never planned to have kids. What are you talking about? You're a teacher. You're great with kids. Your whole life is kids. Mm, other people's kids. At 3.30, I get to give them back. Yeah, but you've been trying so hard to be a good stepmom. Well, yeah, I love Brianna. But she dresses herself, she's potty trained, and in two years, she's out the house. I just assumed you wanted to have kids. I just assumed you didn't want any more. I can't believe we never talked about this. We never talked about a lot of things. Well, maybe we can start now. 
Well, what's there to talk about? I mean, you can't really compromise on something like this, and I've made up my mind. There's nothing I can do to change it? I'm sorry, Flex. I guess you'll be wanting this back. No, uh-uh. I, I, I bought it for you. You keep it. No, I wouldn't feel right. <laughs> it makes you feel better. I didn't want it to end like this. <laughs> I didn't want it to end at all. Goodbye, Natalie. <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye, Beyonce. <laughs> so, Daddy, you and Natalie aren't gonna see each other at all? Well, we're still gonna be friends, sweetie. We just both had different life plans. Hmm, friends, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna transfer out of our class just to be on the safe side. <laughs> <laughs>